What's going on guys? This is Tyler, pharmacist with Pharmacy Update. Back from a little break. I really haven't been uploading videos as much as I would like to. Um, but I'm going to try to get back on track. My goal is to upload at least one video per week from now on. And there is always something to talk about in the pharmacy world, so it shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, but anyway, our topic today is going to be on a very popular drug, cetirizine or brand name Zyrtec. I'm going to cover some general information on Zyrtec, how it works, dosing guidelines, and at the end of the video I will cover the common side effects of this drug. So let's get into it. So first we're just going to cover some general facts. Um, cetirizine is used primarily to treat allergic rhinitis, more commonly known as allergies. Uh, it is also FDA approved for itching and hives in certain situations. Um, now it's in a group of drugs known as the second generation antihistamines. Drugs in this class also include Claritin and Allegra. And these are known as the non-drowsy antihistamines. And this is compared to the first generation antihistamines. Uh, the most popular first generation antihistamine is probably Benadryl. Um, especially if you've ever taken these drugs before, you know that they cause some pretty severe drowsiness. And they're actually used in some over-the-counter sleeping aids uh, because they cause so much drowsiness. So comparatively speaking, the second generation antihistamines cause much less drowsiness. Now, generally, these do not work as well as nasal glucocorticoids, which would include Flonase and Nasonex. So if you're taking tyrosine or another second generation antihistamine and aren't quite getting the relief that you need or you have some more severe symptoms, you may want to try out one of these nasal sprays. So tyrosine is available as a prescription or you can just buy it over the counter yourself. It should be available in most pharmacies to buy. And one nice thing is that it does work pretty quickly. Uh, you will normally see the effect within an hour of taking the drug. Uh, also, it can be taken with or without food. You may not absorb it quite as well if you take it with food, uh, but clinically it really doesn't matter. As far as pediatric patients, this drug can be used by children that are six months in age or older. However, if your child is having issues with allergies, it is always best to consult with your pediatrician to get their opinion on what exactly your child should do. So how does cetirizine work exactly? Well, it is classified as an H1 receptor antagonist. Uh, so what does that mean exactly? So when your body is exposed to an allergen, it causes many reactions in your body, uh, one of which is the release of histamine, Histamine then binds with these H1 receptors, which causes a variety of responses in your body. And this contributes to the allergic symptoms that you can see, such as the runny nose, puffiness, etc. So what these H1 receptor antagonists do is compete with histamine for the H1 receptor. Therefore, they're blocking the histamine from binding to the receptor. And if you can block histamine from binding to the H1 receptor, you can effectively lower the allergic response. Now when you take this medication, you're going to want to take it every day or at least before you are exposed to your particular allergen, whether it's pollen or cat dander. And that's because if the histamine has already been released and is binding to the H1 receptor, it's kind of too late to stop it, if that makes sense. Uh, so like I said, just make sure you take it on a daily basis or before you expose yourself to your particular allergen. My next topic is dosing, and I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this, just a quick overview. So for adults, it's pretty standard, uh, just 10 milligrams once a day. For children, and this drug is available in liquid and chewable tablet forms, uh, six to 12 months, the standard dose is 2.5 milligrams once daily. I have seen some doctors use a lower dose, especially if you're on the younger side. 12 to 23 months is the same, but you can increase it to 2.5 milligrams twice daily. So that would be a total daily dose of 5 milligrams. 2 to 5 years old, the standard dose is 2.5 milligrams daily or twice daily. 
6 to 12 year olds, you're going to increase the dose to either 5 milligrams daily or the standard adult dose of 10 milligrams daily. And then for anyone over the age of 12, you're just going to get the standard 10 milligrams daily. For the geriatric population that is over 65 years old, they do recommend to lower your dose. This is mostly because of the lower kidney function this group can have, and they are more susceptible to the side effects of the drug. Uh, which brings me to my final topic of the day, and that is the side effects of cetirizine. So the most common side effect of cetirizine is drowsiness. And I know what you're probably thinking, didn't you just say earlier that this is considered a non-drowsy antihistamine? Well, yes, that is true. Even though it's in the non-drowsy class, it can still cause drowsiness. And this can be seen in up to 14% of people who take the drug. Now, cetirizine is likely the worst when compared to other second generation antihistamines. So if you take this drug and you are having an issue with drowsiness, you may want to try a different second generation antihistamine such as Claritin or Allegra as there is usually not as much drowsiness associated with these drugs. One good thing though is that this does seem to be less common in children with only around 2% having this side effect. Other common ones include fatigue at around 6% dry mouth and around 5% of people, and then also dizziness and headache are possible. I did not include every single possible side effect on this list. These are just the more common ones that you could experience. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for the latest pharmacy and medical updates, including drug reviews such as this one. And like I said, I will try to upload a video at least once a week. That is my goal. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I really appreciate you watching my video today. So have a great day, and I'll see you next time.